is a sold out crowd at Citizens Bank Park. World Series Game 1, Mariners, Phillies, coming up next. Welcome to Game 1 of the World Series. It is between the Seattle Mariners and the Philadelphia Phillies. The Mariners, surprise team to get into the Fall Classic. The Phillies won 96 games, so no surprise there. The Mariners, they took out the Yankees. Then they took out the Chicago White Sox. And now they're here in the World Series. And both of the postseason records, the Phillies 7-2 and two in the postseason. And the Mariners 8-3. and three. The Mariners with a much lower ERA than the Phillies. Game one, about to get underway. Francisco Morales, who started game five. That was six That was six days ago. Now he's starting game one. First pitch is up next. There's Morales. Postseason, three starts, one and two. Had a 4.86 ERA, is 25 strikeouts. The 10 walks in the postseason. Pitched a lot better in that last game with the Giants in that um, division championship series. Now he'll face Adam Frazier, who leads off the game batting at 292. The second baseman, Adam Frazier. And we are underway. Strike one. Last three games, Frazier's hit 357. First And we are right on time with a 705 start. One ball and one strike. One and one. And Frazier's hit by the pitch. So he'll take first, off and J.P. Crawford Seattle. will lead off. Morales surprisingly has not pitched very well this postseason. I mean, the last two, last game he did, but in the first two games he's given up a lot of runs. He gave up six runs in game two against the Giants. Two of those runs were inherited because another a reliever came in. So. In his mind, he has to get off to a good start in this one. It's one ball and one strike. And that one has hit foul. J.P. Crawford came up in the Phillies organization. And he sees, sees his first Phillies, uh, sees his first uh, World Series postseason action. Change up there, fouled off. One ball and two strikes. Another foul, still one and two. In the wild card, in the postseason, anything can happen. The best team does not always make it all the way. Two balls and two strikes. The Dodgers got bounced in the first in the division series against the Giants. That was a shocker. That is a 112 win team. And Crawford's hit. So that is the second time Morales has hit somebody. So two on. Nobody out and two hit batters. It's Ty France. balls and two strikes. Plants, the designated hitter, had 153 hits in under 54 games. Browns is some trouble here. Little pop up to the pitch in the Rallis and third ground makes the play. So one down here in the top of the first. 
And our man is lined up with Adam Frazier, J.P. Crawford, Ty French, Nick Henry, Kyle Lewis, Adam Toro, Adam White, Jake Fraley, Kyle Raley, Kyle Riley, rounding out the order. Here's Mitch Hanger, landing at 306. And Hanger sends a drive out in the left field. And Swarber right in front of the warning track makes the catch. The runners stay put. And there's two down here in the top of the first. So Morales has not given up the hit. He has hit two batters so far. And here's Kyle Lewis, who is batting at 250. Well, if he gets out of this one, it'll be one lucky man. Right there, a change up, 1 1. One two. Fouled off. No balls and two strikes. Bounce up there, runners stay put. Got him. Had over tired the side. The Mariners get two on base. Morales hit two batters, but he escapes trouble. On to the bottom of the first. The Mariners nothing. The Phillies coming to bat. Well, we have Robbie Ray on the mound here for the Mariners. And three starts, he's 2-0, and a 2.0 run, earned run average. He struck out 15, walked 12, some runs and 16 hits. Leading up for the Phillies, the left fielder, Kyle Swarbrough. Kyle Swarbrough will lead off. He's about him in the first, and he takes a strike. Swarbrick had 30 home runs in the postseason. Excuse me, in the regular season. And one is low. There's one ball and one strike. Pitch 0 and 2, 2 and 2 to Swarbrick. Struck him out. And down here in the bottom of the first. Batting section. The first baseman. Three. Austin. Bring up Maurice Austin. Mariners. Have a low ERA. Hoskins take the ball. Oh, the and the Anders pitchers will strike out a lot of batters. They don't give up a lot of runs. Mariners in the season series. Three games in Seattle. The Mariners did take two out of three. But the Mariners have been a surprise team so far. Hoskins pops it up. Adam Frazier right there. And he will make the play. And that's out number two here in the bottom of the first. Excuse me, that's up in white. Batting third. Here's the lineup with Swarbrick, Hoskins, Harper, Jordan, Romuto, Segura, Chris Bryant, Trevor Story, and Nick Castellanos. The Phillies have hit 24 home runs this postseason. Here's Bryce Harper. Nope. Harper takes the ball, one ball and no strikes. Harper has two of them. Mm -hmm. 
Fouled off, one and one. Harper, first round pick in 2010 draft, is drafted first overall by the Nationals. One ball and two strikes. World Series game one, Citizens Bank Park. And Harper is out on strikes, and so are the Phillies here in the first. They go in order as we go to the second, no score. World Series presented by Capital One. Here's Abraham Toro, batting at 432. Morales hit two batters in the first, did not surrender a hit. Inside, one ball and no strike. He's trouble being inside with those inside pitches. As Toro was acquired from Hawaii in 2021. One ball and one strike. Ground ball, Bryant out number one. As he flips over to Hoskins for the out. The first baseman, number 12, Evan White. And I'll bring up Evan White. Landing at 188. Hey. Strike one. White was a first round pick in the draft. He was drafted by the Mariners. And it's important for the Phillies to get these two because you go into Seattle with three straight. And even though the Phillies have the home field for game six and seven, those three middle games could be a turning point, could be a, a, the, a game decider either four or five so you want to want to take care of your home turf Morales gets another strikeout his second <laughs> oh, boy, this one was way outside that was that slider he has had trouble with and he hit those two batters you see that pitch curve a little outside and white don't know what he was looking at just chase that one Here's Jake Fraley. That is a called strike, a 99 mile per hour fastball. Fraley hitting at 231. Ball in one strike. Francisco Morales, Zach Wheeler, and Aaron Nola. Starting pitches. One ball and two strikes. Hit foul on the third base side. Fans anticipating a strike out here. Top foul. Inside, two balls and two strikes. Morales is doing a lot, just trying to go inside of hitters. That's a change up and a call third strike. Morales strikes out the side here in the second. On to the bottom of the second at Citizen Bank Park. No score. Here's Brandon Jordan. Batting at 325, four homers. The center fielder. So far in the postseason. Jordan. 
Jordan takes a circle change for a ball. Jordan had a 994 on base percentage in the regular season. Fastball there for a strike, one and one. Oh, that's off the ball's a one strike. That's ball three. three and one. JT Renuto waiting on deck. Jordan skies this one shallow center field coming on hard, diving and making the catch. It's Kyle Lewis. That is good. Lewis had a long way to run, but he had to die for it. And makes the catch. Running almost 20 miles an hour. One down here in the second inning. Here's JT Ramuto. Ramuto fouls it. Talked to JT Renito. He said he's never been in this type of atmosphere. He said this atmosphere is great. He's been with Miami, with the Phillies, and they've never just been able to get to the postseason. And it's been frustrating in the last couple of years. And he is so excited to be in this spot. One and two to Renito. And also players like Jordan, Reese Hoskins, Bryce Harper. He's been in the postseason a couple of times. But he's never won a, a playoff series. Harper wins a couple of playoff series and now is in the World Series. Morales too. So this is friendly atmosphere here for the Phillies as Amito Skies. This one in the right field. And Kyle Lewis coming from the center position all the way near right field to make that one. And it's two down there in the second inning. Meanwhile, on the Mariners' side, as Gene Segura steps up, Mariners weren't expecting to do anything in the playoffs. I mean, many people thought it would be the Astros or the Yankees, and they have just shocked the baseball world. As Segura skies this one in the center field. Lewis has been involved in all three outs here. Makes the final out of the second inning. As we go on to the third, we're scoreless. It's Kyle Riley. The catcher. Kyle Riley. Riley takes the strike. Our local broadcast schedule for the playoffs. Game two tomorrow will be national. No, John Chandler had to call the whole game. Game three will be a radio broadcast. Game four will be a national um, broadcast. Game five, a radio broadcast. And then game six, a TV broadcast. And game seven will be national broadcast. So that is the schedule for that one. There's one and two to Riley, and Riley is out on strike. The fourth strikeout for Morales here in the third inning, and there's one now down. The second baseman, Adam Frazier. There's Adam Frazier. Frazier fouls it. Change that. Games two and three are national. Game four will be a national game. Game five, radio. Game six, TV. And then game seven, if necessary, is a national. So. To there. Little pop up. Trevor's story makes the play as out number two. 
It's been a quiet the bat first a couple of innings so far. Not a whole lot of JP. offense. Kyle Frazier oh, making a nice diving catch. It's J.P. Crawford who was hit by a pitch back in the first. J.P. Crawford, part of the Phillies organization, he says, you know, little mixed emotions playing against his former team. But he says it's a business and things happen and he's grateful to get the opportunity to play in the World Series, especially with the Mariners as he takes outside two balls and no strikes. Two and one. Two and two now to count on profit. Offense has been quiet so far in the first three innings. That one is hit foul. Bounces near the stand. Crawford's making Morales' throw pitches. To be the ninth pitch of the at bat. Morales has 48 pitches so far. And he just keeps fouling them off. Three balls and two strikes. Another foul. Three. And that's strike three. Five for Morales as he heads to the bottom of the third. No score. Here's Chris Bryant. Bryant manning at 270. Seventh, eighth, and nine coming up for the Phillies. Robbie Ray has only thrown 23 pitches so far. Balls in one strike. One and two to count. In the right field, Hanger right there makes the play. That's out number one. Batting it. The shortstop, Trevor. Now bring up Trevor's story. Story, batting at 156. Robert Ray has not allowed a base runner. It's been a pitcher's duel so far, but it is early. Ball and no strikes. Trevor Story hit 33 home runs during the regular season. 
He smokes this one to left field. That's well hit, and this ball is caught right in front of the fence. Kyle Lewis. I mean, he's been all over the place tonight. The designated hitter, Nick. It's Nick Castellanos. I mean, all over the place. Castellanos, he's batting at 361. On strike to Castellanos, he homer 28 times in the regular season. Popped him up behind home play to rally. Right there, makes the play, and the Phillies are retired in order. Chris Singleton, John Chambi in the fourth. No score. That is true. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Ty France. Ty France. The right hander back to work. Ball one there. Counts one and over. The wind of the pitch. And downstairs. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Next pitch misses way outside. And that's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Rudder at first with no outs here. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Another 0 2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there's one down. Guys nice. doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just caught the zone. So as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. Kyle Lewis up next for the Mariners. Went down on strikes his first time through. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That's back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. A shot to the opposite field, and they add a pair. It's 2 nothing. For a guy to be able to hit a changeup at that velocity tells me he would have been ready for a fastball. Just impossible to cover that wide of range of velocity. But he does a nice job picking his pitch. And he gets rewarded for it. And now here is Abraham Toro. The 1-0. -oh. And he flips a breaking ball in there. Or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. Next pitch oh, is outside. Now two balls and a strike. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Well, and those hitters count sometimes. 
can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher would play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. And that one wrapped foul. Swings and misses. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, that high four-seam fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch base, over the years. Five. And what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it right. extremely well. The problem is the velocity and spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone, you don't stay tall on the backside, and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop-up. And here is Evan White. Schwarber has this one sized up and makes the grab. And that's the third out. Two come in on this Seattle homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. I tell you what, I think we all just jumped across that. Back here in Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Way to go for the Phillies. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for a starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Going oh, two. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Next pitch misses, and the count one and two. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. Now I don't think it. that's a First strike race. if he takes it. Three. Pretty textbook pitching. Get Love ahead in the good. count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. In there for strike one. And he deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. A wide to kick the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two strike like pitch right Ever there. Played. At worst case scenario, Burr. it's weak contact in Burr. play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Two outs, base is empty. Bryce Harper to the plate. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. Oh, well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. The Phils yet to pick up a hit here. On the ground. Oh, he gloves it. Throw to first, and they get the out. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. All set for the start of the inning. And stepping in for the Mariners, Jake Fraley. Leading off for the Mariners, the left fielder, Jake Fraley. And a pitch. Just missed. And the 1 0. Good eye right there. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. 
kicks and fires. That's down and in. The 3-1. Three, 3-1, one. Three, one, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Leading off so up Aaron. next, Cal Raleigh. Cal Raleigh. And that's in there for strike one. Fraley on at first. Nobody out. The next pitch misses, and it's one and one. Righty delivers. There's a strike. Here's a one-two. Got him looking. And one away. So the lineup flips over. Adam Frazier up next for the Mariners. Morales over to first. Fraley back on a dive. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Next pitch misses outside, and the count is 1-1. One and one. Called strike right there. The 1-2. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Two-two down. And down on strikes. Two down. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and the bat played right into the hands of the pitcher. Walker. And at first, J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. That one's in there, 0-1. One. One Throw to first, and he just got his hand in there. At the belt and fires. And the pitch is outside, ball one. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity, try to get a rollover, something on the ground, stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. The pitch. In there. And so now one and two. And now two and two. The pitch. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Left hand batter waits. Center field. Jordan makes the catch, and that'll do it. Mariners lead one, but they're on top 2 nothing. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now Brandon Jordan. The, Billy, the center fielder, Brandon Jordan. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And it's fouled away.
Next yep. offering way <laughs> off the plate. And a good eye there. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff walk. The pitch. And it's filled up. One away. Oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely now well. And you Get know her. what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that Real punch Utah. out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Pitch. Foul ball. The Phillies still looking for their first hit in this one. Next pitch inside. It's a ball and two strikes. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. And there's two gone following the strikeout. The batter, number two, second baseman, Gene Segura. Now it's the second baseman, Gene Segura. That hits the dirt, and it's one and oh. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. And that skips in the dirt. And a pitch. This one popped up. Frazier has a beat on it. And that'll do it. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. They trail it here 2 0. Get the blessing for the bread dread. The bread dread. The bread dread. I got my blessing because the father never left him. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the DH, Ty France. Leading off from Seattle, the designated hitter, Ty France. Morales back to work. Just missed. And here it comes. Yeah. Put down one and one. Swing and a miss. That's strike, strike two. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. That's Next offering ball. misses, and it's two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Here comes a pitch. That's and off the mark, ball. and the count's full. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And a pitch. Up the middle, and it's through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now just a batting. cookie down right the middle. middle. I mean, those are the ones Mitch. you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Now it's the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Next offering is down low. 
And that is ball one. France gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next pitch misses inside. And a count two and one. Righty to the plate. And that's downstairs and outside. Three one is on the way. And ball four to a board. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike zone and really limit base runners, but his command in this one just seems off the out there. A lot more walks than he's used to giving up. This is Kyle Lewis. He had a big swing back in the fourth, the two run homer, and that helped them get the lead. And what a swing it was, Boo. Poetry in motion. And those are the type that you hardly feel when you connect with the baseball. Just so smooth, a great feeling off the bat. He swings and fouls one off. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Activity in the bullpen. Bailey Falter up and loosening in the pen. Coonrod warming up as well. Phillies fans want a strikeout. One and two. First and second here, no outs. And down on strikes he goes, and one gone. Well, we see it a lot more these days than we ever did when I played, but a slider in the 90s still catches your attention. Even if you're sitting on the pitch, good luck recognizing that tight spin and adjusting to the late break. Down the third baseman, Abraham Toro. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. The 0 2. Popped up. And the infield fly rule call. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. So first and first second baseman, with two outs. Evan and now the first baseman, White. Evan White. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Going to count one and two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. 7 8 9, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Mariners and the Phillies, nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's Chris Bryant now. The Phillies, the third baseman, Red Bryant. Wind of the pitch. Good eye right there. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. The next offering misses. Two balls, no strikes. And there's a ball. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box.
There's the strike three and one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. In for a strike, now it's three and two. And there's Paul Ford. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake the team up with a free pass. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you can find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. That one hammered. That's back there on its way. And that one is out of here. Trevor Story pops one out of here. And we are starting over. It's 2-2. team that hits home runs at such a high rate they can get back in the ball game so quickly that's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly Nick Castellanos at the plate now now batting the designated hitter and he swings and misses at the initial offer The wind of the pitch. And it's even up. And now one and two. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone. And that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Two strikes. That one drifts inside. On the ground, right side. Frazier collects. Over to first. And Castellanos is out. Up next for Philadelphia. No left fielder. Kyle. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. The pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Check swing, but he went too far. 0-2 oh, now. The pitch. Hey. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat the speed. It's hard to bring that Three. to a halt once you've committed. Oh, they yeah. tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Reese Hoskins stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And the pitch. And that's outside. Well, he gave up the home run earlier in this inning, not pitching as aggressively here. And he deals. That clips the corner. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Next offering in the dirt. We'll count now. 
he should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Next offering is foul back. Two outs. On the ground, out to short. Crawford throws the first in time. That's out number three. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. 2-2 Two -two game. Bailey Foster will come into the game in five games, no wins, no losses. He has an ERA of nine. Left-handers are batting 455, while right-handers are batting 286. It is a 2-2 game here in the seventh. Trevor Story broke up the Robbie Ray no-hitter with a two-run homer back in the bottom of the sixth. We are knotted at two here in the seventh inning. Farley takes a pitch up high, one ball and no strike. Two and zero. In the left field, will it stay? Fair will bounces off the wall, takes a couple of hops, and Farley. Will go in the second. He has a leadoff double here in the seventh inning. The batter, the catcher, Cal Raleigh. So Morales is taken out. Faulty is coming, gives up a leadoff double. Here. Here's Raleigh. And Manners had a runner on second. Nobody out. One ball and no strikes to Raleigh. He has struck out twice. Morales has struck out 11. Here though he ran into some trouble, not the best clean 11 strikeout game we've seen. Hit the first two batters, walked two, gave up two hits. We thought it might be an early game for Morales, but he settled in and battled through it. That one is going to go foul again. You can tell he's pitched a lot of innings and he got tired around the fifth inning. But he battled through. And we might see him again. Who knows? And now it's the Phillies bullpen trying to keep this a 2 2 game. It's 2 and 2. See, so the Phillies can do something in the bottom of the seventh. Got to get some out. That is caught by Segura. Running stay at second base. Next to Seattle, the second baseman, Adam Frazier. Adam Frazier. Hit by a pitch back in the fifth. Excuse me, Morales hit three batters in this game and two walks. So, one of them odd games, battle back. One and one. Two to one to count. Popped up, playable, and that is caught by Bryant. Two down there in the seventh. They'll bring up J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford. No balls in one strike.
Fouled off. Struck him out. So at the getting up a lead off double. Foster ends up getting the next three. And he is pumped up here at Citizens Bank Park. We are still tied at two as we head to the bottom of the seven. It's Bryce Harper. He leads off the bottom of the second, struck out and grounded out. And strike the Harper. One ball and one strike. One. Two and two to count. Popped up, playable. And Croft. And Frazier. Up next for Philadelphia. Toro makes the catch. The center fielder. Outfield and the infield is shifted. Sure, There's Brandon Jordan. Jordan tonight is 0 for 2. One strike to Jordan. Two balls and two strikes to Jordan. One out, nobody on. Missed, it's a full count. And Milton waiting on deck. I'll be Ray having some words with the umpire. Three. And Jordan's rung up. He can't believe it. Eighth strikeout for Ray. Two down now in the seventh inning. The catcher, JT. And bring up JT Romuto. Romuto takes the ball. One ball with no strike. Through the middle, pass Ray, and in the center field. Second hit of the game for the Phillies. As Mitchell's at first here in the seventh. And they bring up Gene Segura. Segura's 0 for 2 tonight. World Series game one, tied to two. Segura takes a strike. One and one. one, and one. Bruce Beckenrider and Eric Swanson up in the man is bullpen. 
It is a pitcher's duel here tonight. The offense has been quiet. Two two run homers in this game. That's about it. Segura on the left field, but it's going to hang up there for Fraley. And that'll retire the Phillies here in the seventh. Muto left that first as we head to the eighth. 2-2 two -two game. The World Series Game 1 presented by Capital One. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Phillies. Sam Coonrod will come in and pitch. He's not giving up a run in five games. Actually, he's not giving up a hit. He struck out five and walked one in six innings. So here goes Ty France, who is one for two. France takes the strike. Big foul. Two and two to count the France. Okay. Inside the full count, and they change the waiting on deck. Still a full count. And that is ball four. Leading off for the Mariners. The walks will hurt you in postseason play. I mean, they'll definitely will. And you don't want to put runners on to lead off an inning and have the Mariners rally. Here's Mitch Hingham. And he might get a double play ball. No, just get the out of first. It can be tough for Segura to get the second. Just take the show out of first. And France moves up the second. There's one down in the eighth. And Kyle Lewis will be the batter. He's had a good night so far. Two run homer back in the fourth. Made a diving catch back in the first to save some trouble. And he's here. With a runner on second and one out. And the ball on those strikes. And he fouls that off. Little topper. France will stay put. Lewis is out. Two down in the eighth. Here's Abraham Toro. He popped out back in the sixth. And Rod trying to keep his hitless streak alive. Has not given up a hit or a run. It's only a second walk in the postseason. Toro takes a strike, one ball and one strike. Two and one. Two and two. Evan White waits on deck here in the eighth. Did he go? No, he did not go. And they put two runners on, two outs, two walks by Coonrod. And here's Evan White, who is 0 for 3.
Runners on base will hurt you in a postseason ball one. Live from Citizens Bank Park. Every seat in the house is filled. World Series Game 1 here on Sports Gaming Channel. Fouled off. Game 1 of the World Series. Morales has been taken out after the 6th. I'm going to hit him. Robbie Ray, we don't know if he's going to go back in. He's pitched seven innings, giving up the two runs and the two hits. Uh, Trevor Story home run. That is a hit the right field. Let's see if they'll try to score anybody. No, they won't. As Harper got it in real quick. Evan White, now a two-out hit, and the bases are loaded. And France doesn't run hard, but that ball was hit fast. Harper got it in there in a hurry, and here's Jake Fraley. Bases loaded, two outs, ball one. Fraley double back in the seven. You don't want to double here. You really don't. That is a foul ball, and I mean foul by inches. 23 pitches this inning for Coonrod. It's one and two. You just want to get out this inning and give your offense a chance to do something in the bottom of the eighth. In the left field, playable to score, but he makes the catch. And that'll retire the Mariners here in the eighth. They leave the bases loaded, Seattle. As we go to the bottom of the eighth, we are tied at two. Ladies and gentlemen, you're and we'll have Drew Speckenrider who will come in in eight games. He has an ERA of nine. Drew Speckenrider. In six innings. He'll face Chris Bryant, who was 0 for 1, walked and scored the run. Phillies with two hits in the game. The third baseman, Chris Bryant. off 0-1 believes the seventh eighth and nine hitters coming up in this half inning a ball in one strike strike two Netting there, so that ball was hit hard. Ball two. Two and two. <laughs> World Series game one. Foul out of the glove, still two balls and two strikes. Count. Oh, 
Chris Bryant strikes out. One down in the bottom of the eighth. The batter, the shortstop, Trevor Story. Trevor Story will be the batter. He's one for two tonight. With that two run homer. There's one ball and no strikes. Batting 176 in the postseason, has three home runs, six RBIs. Two or nothing. Corey Sattler, Eric Swanson. ball foul since moments in this one pitches have pitched well got in some jams gotten out of them fouled off two and two especially the Phillies pitchers tonight Morales hitting batters walking batters gave up two hits but struck out 11 and that was a gutsy 11 strikeout I mean, I've never seen a guy that battled through so much adversity was able to get 11 strikeouts and come out of this game with a no decision. Four count. Nick Castellanos waits on deck. And that's ball four. Stories aboard with one out. The designated hitter, number four, Nick Castellanos. Ball and no strikes. Two and oh. Hit on the ground. That might be a double play ball. And it is. Phillies are retired in the eighth. Stecken Ryder gets a big ground ball double play as we head to the ninth World Series game one. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Phillies. Number 75. Connor Brogdon will come in and pitch. Kyle Riley will be the batter. Not giving up the run in this postseason. That's ball one. Phillies will have the top of the order coming up in the next half inning. One and one. One and two to count. As the crowd gets loud. They were loud in the sixth when Story hit the home run. To tie the game at two. Hopefully to get loud here and then the end of the night. Full count. Again, you don't want to get lead off walks. Oh. 
Hit on the ground to Segura. One out. Up next for Seattle, the second baseman, Adam Winston. Here's Adam Frazier. He takes a strike. Adam Frazier versus left-handed hitter. He's batting 400. But he's not facing the left-handed hitter now. Facing Connor Brogdon. He's still in the game. Oh and two. He got him. Two outs here in the ninth. Now batter, the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford will be the batter. He's over three. Strikes to Crawford. Rally Tiles here out at Citizens Bank Park. One and one. One and two. Got him. Brogdon with the strikeout. As we head to the bottom of the ninth, tied at two. Top of the order for the Phillies coming up. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Mariners. Number 48, Anthony Misevich. Is Anthony Misowicz. He will be in the game. He is the pitcher. Kyle Swarber will be the batter. Swarber. And Swarber takes the strike. No balls in one strike to Swarber. Bottom of the ninth, we're tied at two. Fouled out of the catcher's mitt, 0 and 2. There is no runner at second in the postseason to begin next year innings. And Swarber, little grounder to the right side. Infielder was playing in the outfield, had to came over and make the throw. As Raja Pitt was in the outfield, one down here in the ninth. And a bring up Reese Hoskins. Hoskins 0 for 3. One strike to Hoskins. And one. You got Bryce Harper and Brandon Jordan if it gets to Jordan. No balls, excuse me, two balls and one strike to Hoskins. Nice a witch in the game for the man. Three and one. Harper waits on deck. Ball four. Hoskins, a one out base runner here in the bottom of the ninth. Here comes Bryce Harper. He'll get a pinch runner, Simon Luciano. Will 
offense run for Hopkins. The bat is taking out the game. Harper 0 for 3. Philly's trying to win the game here. Will Miliati attempt to steal? Or will Harper try to bunt him on? Let's see what happens. He does run. Fouled off. Phillies has not hit a walk-off hit this season. 0-2. That is in the right field. It's going to... Drop foul and Harper is still alive. No balls and two strikes. The hanger tried to die for it, had a chance to make the play, he could not. Harper is out. Two down here in the bottom of the ninth, and Brandon Jordan will be the batter. The center fielder, number 25. It was way out in front of that one. There was no chance for Harper to catch up to that one. So. Harper is out. Jordan, be the batter. He's facing the left-handed. He's 0 for 3 tonight. One strike. They're big, heavy hitters. They're not done a lot. They have been quiet. Hey. 0 and 2. Jordan in the center field. It's going to drop. Muziani's going to go to third. Jordan at second. Muziani will be at third. And the winning run is at third base. With two outs. If Muziani can run, Jordan was running. Because it looked like that pitch was in the shallow center. And Jordan is a fast runner, ended up getting to second on that one, so it will give Jordan a double, but Jordan was hustling on that pit. And he ended up getting a double somehow. It's JT Ramuto who can win it right here. Two on, two outs, tie game at two. Ball one. Two and zero. Two and one to count. Right field, base hit. Muziani scores. Phillies win it three to two. Their first walk-off win this season. It comes in the postseason, and it comes in the World Series game one. Phillies a one game to none series lead over the Mariners. Well, Milto got a pitch to hit on the right side. He gets the game winner. Luziani scores. Phillies with a one game, the non series lead over the Mariners. JT Ramuto in walk off fashion for our entire crew. Brandon G saying goodnight from Tulipson Bank Park. Phillies win it 3 2.